My name is Cindy Rodriguez. I am Collab's Business Operations and Communications Associate, and I've been with Collab since 2022. And my name is Ndubisi Okeke. I am Collab's Venture Manager, and I've been with Collab since 2020. So Collab is a community-centered uh, business accelerator that empowers individuals and families to kind of use entrepreneurship to build wealth, um, create jobs, and kind of shape their communities. Uh, we prioritize low-income individuals, women, people of color, because they, they, they face significant and persistent barriers to entrepreneurship. Our mission is to use entrepreneurship to create opportunity for people in New Haven. Um, uh, what we like to do, um, I think in addition, is we wanna provide uh, impactful and rigorous business support to entrepreneurs who historically have not had access to entrepreneurial education, like Cindy was saying. So that is people of color, women, uh, people of low income. Um, and we do that uh, on a continuum in our programs. Um, so that starts with our office hours, where we just have open office hours for community members, entrepreneurs to call in um, and to speak with a member of our staff so that we can brainstorm with them, we can connect them to resources um, and get them started, get them pointed in the right direction. We also have our pre-accelerator program, um, and that is for folks who are interested in entrepreneurship but don't have an idea um, or who know they want to be entrepreneurs and have like a little bit of an idea. Um, and for them to just get started, it's about beginning, getting connected to community, getting uh, associated and acclimated to what it is to begin a business. Um, then we have our flagship accelerator program. It's a 12 week program for businesses that are um, up and running. Um, and that includes um, a 12 session workshop series, one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, mentorship, um, and networking opportunities and a graduate graduation pitch event. Um, and then we have our uh, collab intensive as well. Um, and that is for folks who are specifically looking uh, for financing and looking to, to uh, acquire their next round of capital. Um, and we have entrepreneurs uh, go through that intensive to get ready for those uh, conversations uh, for grants with banks um, and things of that nature. And we also have some other programs that I can give over to Cindy. Yeah, we also have the FBA, which is the Food Business Accelerator, where we partner with City Seed, and it's centered and focused on people who are trying to start like food businesses. Uh, we also hold the Women's um, Women's Initiative which is kind of like a round table set up for our women entrepreneurs and we get them um, to pitch and kind of discuss what barriers they're facing among peers of like women, um, investors, community leaders. And then we also have the Collab Youth Accelerator, which is an eight week program in the summer we hold for high school students, kind of like an intro to entrepreneurship. And then we kind of introduce them to other alumni and um, ESOs and partnerships that, like, partners that we have in New Haven. Collab was founded in 2017 by Margaret and Caroline. Um, they kind of saw a gap between entrepreneurship and um, people of color, women, and they were kind of trying to figure out how to bridge that gap. Like there's a lot of great ideas, a lot of entrepreneurs in New Haven, but they had nowhere to go to kind of get that assistance or even like get help starting up and so they built the program based on those needs. Um, to provide a little more context, so uh, Margaret Lee, Caroline Smith, they were, um, they were undergrads coming out and decided to stay in the community. Um, and so what they did is they started with a workshop series and um, just did a, a general needs assessment to figure out what the community needed. Um, and then from there, I think, um, Cindy really described it perfectly where um, entrepreneur services and uh, what it is to have um, business technical support um, was something that uh, the community was saying that they needed. Um, and as they began to do events and grow, um, they, they grew it into um, a full-fledged program and organization. Collab for a while was um, fiscally sponsored by the Economic Development Corporation of New Haven. 
um, and got its 501c3 status in 2021. We also were the first program to actually have that kind of accelerator in New Haven. Um, and what made them special is the amount of effort they put in accessibility. Like they made sure to have translators, they made it remote, they provided childcare services, transportation, access to technology, and they were kind of that bridge that the program really needed to include, to be really inclusive. Mm -hmm. uh, Collab often likes to say that it's uh, the front door of entrepreneurship. So people who are looking to get involved, people who are just getting started. Um, and we've been able to add value to people who've been in business for a little while as well. Um, but one thing that we do have our eye on is what it is to, to give access and to give opportunity. Um, I got involved in 2020. Um, actually, um, it was, if you remember in 2020, there was a global pandemic. Um, but um, this opportunity uh, came across uh, just like my email and um, got involved in that way after finishing school myself. Um, and so that's how I got involved uh, was, I was one of the first two hires um, of Margaret and Caroline. And so that first team, we began to kind of uh, grow collab more in 2020. Mm -hmm. um, I got involved in the fall of 2022. Um, I was honestly working, so I was actually working for the New Haven Fire Marshal's office and I was looking to get more involved in the community. So I started searching for different opportunities and I came across Collab. And after doing some more digging on what Collab was about and their mission, I was like, I gotta get in there. And so I applied. Um, it's been incredible to work with the businesses that we have. There are so many to name. Um, yeah, I, could, I couldn't even say like, oh, this one, this one, this one. Um, I would say um, just as an exp in my experience uh, running our programs, uh, coaching businesses, um, it truly is a, a transformative experience to watch people um, try and build out uh, an idea that they have. Um, in many ways, uh, people feel like it's an extension of them. Um, and so when uh, you are coaching them or when you are giving them uh, tools to build it, um, it actually is a, a transformative um, um, and deeply connecting experience. Um, and so I think I just feel uh, uh, in awe of, um, of our businesses, of our entrepreneurs, because they work hard um, daily um, and are, are really doing it. They're really building it. The confidence they come in with compared, well, the lack of confidence they come in with and with, and the amount of confidence they leave with, it's just beautiful to see because we always show, um, hold these showcases at the end of the cohorts and seeing how much they change and how proud they are and how more, how more put together their idea or their business plan is, it's just, it's just beautiful. So I, I honestly can't point out a single one because each and single one of our graduates put in the work. And I think confidence is just like one aspect. We actually measure it. We actually measure whether uh, confidence from beginning to the end of the program. Uh, but that's just like one of the ways that we measure success um, in our impact reports, because I know that Cindy works on uh, really hard. Um, over 80% of our businesses are still um, in, um, in operation. Millions of dollars of follow-on funding. Um, over 200 jobs created. Um, and so, we're seeing the success uh, commercially uh, because as well as personally. Um, and both of those actually really matter. Um, we want people to be, um, a program like this, an organization like this is seeking to transform lives. Lives are multifaceted. Um, we want to build confidence. We want to be able to uh, build capacity in education and that's one aspect of it. But we also wanted to, to have results because people do have lives. We, we're hoping that people have access to build generational wealth, can at least begin that process. Um, and so one without the other um, um, is, is uh, crippled in some ways, false in some way. Um, and so we're really hoping for that holistic, um, that holistic impact. And of course, it's not something that we could do alone when you're talking about holistic impact. There's an ecosystem uh, with partner organizations like City Seed, other entrepreneur support organizations, um, 
banks, uh, government, uh, they all combine to what it is to have someone be able to really thrive. Um, and we are hoping that people in these communities um, could learn um, and have help in navigating these structures so that they can benefit as well. So right now, so right now with City Seed, we're gonna hold a um, FBA, so Food Business Accelerator um, showcase, and that is where we help like 10 to 14 entrepreneurs come and vend their food, and they get to the community gets to come and like sample, connect, and um, last time I think was it Lamont that came to the event? Yeah, Governor Lamont. And it was like over 400 people, and so we're trying to get that same level of exposure to our entrepreneurs this time too. Uh, we try to hold panels um, for particular um, issues right now, so I'm trying to curate a um, kind of entrepreneurship and, immigra and, Im and immigrants panel discussion, hopefully by the end of July. But we host a lot of events like that, and um, I can't. And of course, active on social media. Um, we publicize our events that way. We have outreach partnerships with uh, with other organizations, with the Chamber of Commerce, the Greater New Haven Chamber of Commerce, because there are many Chamber of Commerce, um, and, um, <laughs> and the like. So that's how we uh, kind of get involved with outreach. We also do like, we're trying to get into weekly newsletters, but I usually do monthly newsletters to tailor for our community, and then there's tailored, um, there's one tailored to our entrepreneurs. And then we kind of try to make sure we're tapped in with any opportunities, any... Even uh, festivals, fair, yeah. we're at Fairhaven Day. Fairhaven Day, um, yeah. Yale Venture Summit, yeah. we're supposed to table there, and we actually got free tickets secured for a lot of our um, graduates, like things like that. We, we try to make sure we're, we can tap in with them and they know that we still support them and we're still a resource for them, even though they graduated. So if you're an entrepreneur and you would like to get involved with us, if you're a community member and you would like to, to support, uh, you can go to our website, collabnewhaven.org. It has all of our programs, it has a button to donate. We're also on social media, Facebook, Instagram, on LinkedIn as well. Um, and we look forward to connecting with you.